My latest video watched a lot of people who either want to start their YouTube channels or already have their small YouTube channels. So I thought that I'm gonna share with you all the things I've learned during this one year journey of posting on YouTube regularly once a week long form videos. And those will be all the things I wish I knew before starting this channel. So if you are thinking of producing your own content, it's gonna be definitely helpful for you. And you may wonder why are you gonna give us YouTube advice if you have a small YouTube channel? And this is exactly why. Because 10 years ago, it was different to grow on YouTube than it is now. The algorithm has changed and there are more and more YouTube videos than ever before. So I want to share with you how to find your own way to stand out and at the same time not to get burnt out because this is also a very common problem among all YouTubers, even those the most successful ones. If you have any opinions or questions, I'm always open to the discussion, so comment down below. If you want to see how my channel develops and you want to see my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And let's go! Don't niche down too quickly. Many people say to niche down. And this is probably the first thing that appears in all of those educational videos about how to create content. And don't get me wrong. This is a very good piece of advice, but for somebody who knows their niche. Because if you don't know your niche and you don't really know what you are meant to be doing, it can be horrible advice. Because what may happen is that you may end up doing something that you don't really feel it's 100% for you. And that's why you may end up feeling burnt out and you may also lose motivation for creating more videos. If you aspire to be a content creator, you most likely have a complex personality and many different hobbies and interests and that's why it can be hard for you to pick up your niche. So my solution to it is don't look for your niche, let your niche find you. And what I mean by it is that at the beginning, it's good to have this scientific approach towards your content. So you want to test things out. I think it's way better to experiment than procrastinate. So post a few videos about the topics that you are interested in and just see how it goes. Because okay, maybe your channel won't blow up with this strategy, but what it does is that you can see that maybe some videos get more views than others and you can also see that maybe some videos were more enjoyable for you to create and based on that you can slowly start niching down. I had had this idea of starting a YouTube channel a few years before I actually started. So don't waste that much time. So I think that the purpose of your first few videos shouldn't be to go viral. And I'm not saying it will never happen for anybody, but it's just not realistic for majority of people and it wasn't realistic for me. And those high expectations just stops you from, you know, developing your own content. So I think that the purpose of your first few videos should be to start, first of all, and should be to learn from it, should be to maybe find your niche and gradually improve your content over time. Don't treat views personally. The number of views under your videos doesn't determine anything, especially if you create videos for search, not for trends. And let me tell you what it means. So creating videos for search is all about finding topics that people search for all the time. And let me give you some examples from my videos. So it can be why do you understand English but can speak fluently, the best language learning habits, deep work routine, a way to win in the modern world, and so on. But on the other hand, if you create videos for trends, it means that the lifetime of your videos are very short, so you want to get as many views as possible relatively fast. I usually don't create those type of videos because I think that the videos created for search are a better investment of your time and energy. 
because people will be looking for those topics even after a few years from now. So it means that those videos will be still getting more and more views. However, I have an example of a video that is about a trending topic and it is a video how to use ChatGPT in language learning. It was created seven months ago, but I think that ChatGPT and artificial intelligence tools are still trending right now. However, this is an example of a video created for trends because maybe after a few years it will be no longer relevant because maybe there will be some other tools to use. So that's why I'm talking about it. And if you are interested in watching the videos that I mentioned, they are still on my channel so you can go and check them out. So you really know the difference between the videos created for search and for trends. But I want you to take this topic into consideration while creating your own content. You can either create videos for search or for trends, and if you decide to go for search, don't expect to get a lot of views from the beginning, because it simply takes time to build your channel in this way. Don't take the number of views under your videos so personally, because it is not an indication of your personality, of your intelligence or anything like this. And sometimes it is not even an indication of your content that you created. Because sometimes after some time, the same old videos can skyrocket. And I can show you an example of my most viewed video on this channel. So you can see that at the beginning, this video didn't get that many views. But after some time, the views skyrocket, and then again nothing, and then they again increased. So just be patient. Titles and thumbnails. A good idea for your video is not enough. You need to show it in your title and in your thumbnail. Because as Mr. Beast says, if people are not gonna click on your video, they're not gonna watch it. Your title and thumbnails represent your video, so it's like a nice or poor packaging. So you want to make sure that your packaging is nice, so people for sure click on it. When I first started posting on YouTube, I didn't even know what a good thumbnail meant. And now I like to think about it as it's a poster of my video. So it should be easy to understand. Make sure to just put a few elements on that. It should be simple, but at the same time, there should be something that attracts people's attention and makes them click. An average thumbnail gets about 3% of people to click on it, and a good thumbnail gets about 5% people and above to click on it. So go to your YouTube studio, check your statistics, because they are actually very helpful. They basically show you what works and what doesn't videos but the most important of all are your videos because people are not gonna subscribe and watch your videos just because your thumbnails look nice so you need to be actually focused on saying something that is valuable to your audience so for that you need to be well prepared and organized and maybe share things that people may not know about and the only way to learn them is from your videos and here, of course, I'm talking about educational content like mine, because for entertainment type of videos, it's different. They just need to be funny, entertaining, engaging. And this is the reason for people to like your videos and subscribe. Another topic is your personal charisma. If you don't record yourself, you don't have this issue. But if you do, you need to learn to talk to the camera. And you need to also pay attention to your voice. I think that my voice is naturally high-pitched. And when I first started recording on YouTube, I wasn't really controlling the way I sounded. And when I sometimes watch my older videos, I can hear that there are some moments when it's actually hard to listen to it. It is a bit cringy, but all of those videos are still on my channel. I don't want to hide anything because I think it really shows my process of developing this channel. So if you are interested in that, you can go check them out. Just click the oldest and then they will show up. Be prepared for surprises. Actually, you never know what people are gonna like. And there are a lot of examples of YouTube channels where somebody posted something that is not really related to their niche 
and suddenly this one video blown up. So if you hesitate, should I post this video or not, do it, because maybe it's gonna be it. I very often posted a video that I put a lot of effort into and I thought that at least it's gonna get more views than usual. And you know what? It didn't. On the other hand, a few times I just posted a video because I am dedicated to it and it was way shorter and I wasn't expecting anything from this video and, and it turned out the opposite. So you really never know what's gonna work or, or what's not gonna work. Especially if you are just starting out, you're not gonna know what people gonna like or not. And it still happens, even for experienced YouTubers. So if you hesitate, pause that video and see what's gonna happen. I honestly think that YouTube changed my life. And I talk about this experience in the video that is visible on the screen. So see you there.